certainly the basic things. But I often wonder when I've heard you, for example, sing something, and suddenly uh, that particular phrase has been like a revelation. And I said, oh, so that is what Bellini meant, or that is what Verdi meant at Well, this we point. try hard. I don't know Does if I've succeeded. Does this ever happen to you, when you say you sometimes sing a role differently, or, or, or your well, action is a little different? Because, no, no. Is this no, a no. new understanding that comes to you at Did the Did you mean, uh, uh, I don't know what you mean exactly by each role. You mean each role or each performance different? Each, I mean each, each performance. Each performance, no, there are slight changes, Yes, there are say. slight changes, but it's always within the style. It's always yes. within the personaggio. It can't mm -hmm. change. Mm -hmm. It must mm -hmm. be in a straight jacket, but there is a certain freedom. Yes. In other words, you cannot make two steps up front, one step behind, it be like a robot. You can't do that. that then it's not art. But within this, uh, shall we say, square box, you can't mm -hmm. move out of that square box, but in the meantime, you can go around yes. in the room. But it has to be that particular room, which means square or round or oval, which is uh, the, the capacity of a composer. Yes. So but now tell me, when you're working with, as you you're have... You're free up to a certain point, of course. Up to, up to a certain point? Yes. But supposing you, uh, you have worked with many very great uh, conductors yes, and great stage directors, uh, have you ever felt that a, a given role was oval when somebody else thought it was square? Have you, have you had Not a really. clash I've never of interpretations had any, this Never way? had any clash, frankly. Is that so? Never. Never had that, any clash. That, that's extraordinary, because sometimes some, even our most brilliant stage directors have a wild inspiration and go off on what seems to me to be a tangent. Well, I don't This doesn't let them, happen. No. Ah. Uh, I, in fact, <laughs> I don't think they're inspired with wild intentions. I think that when I'm around, at least I asked them, and I said, well, don't I excite you for, uh, for uh, you know, uh, exotic things? And they say, no, because when we have you on stage, the less you have around you, the ah. better it is. They don't they need any gadgets. That's right. <laughs> see. You see, that was their answer. Yes. In other words, it means that they In feel other, that you yes. get to the core of the role yes. and they don't have to, uh, to fuss they around They don't like with to it. fuss around with, the, with me on stage, and I don't think uh, one needs it. I mean, the less uh, frustrated a role is, the better it is, unless it's supposed to portray a frustrated part. Ah, oh, yes. That's you see, there's always again. a reason to, to a part. There is indeed. She is that, she is the other, she is the other. Now, then you can go into details, but it is square cut or oval or whatever it is. Yes. It is one certain form from the beginning. Well, now tell me, when you're singing the bel canto roles, you said that this, the way you sang them was something new to the uh, Italian audiences when you when Well, you yes, first because they there. were, they were uh, disturbed by this uh, strange uh, interpretation which uh, made them work a little harder, <laughs> made them feel a little more instead of saying, oh, what a lovely voice, oh, what a lovely note, oh, how nice, how pleasant, well, let's go home. Mm -hmm. They were disturbed so that uh, anything that disturbs a person in the beginning creates a bit of a reaction, don't you think? Of course it does, and then all the more pleasure when it was they become the, reconciled yes. to it. Yes, well, they, it. they didn't immediately with me, but they would when they heard another singer. They would oh. immediately say, oh, but she's boring. Oh, but this isn't... Uh, no, I think the other performance was better. They can't say what it was. Yes. But uh, they felt that they weren't satisfied with it. So that's good enough for us. That means that they have progressed. It certainly That does. the public... Because you see, the public has to be taught these things. We are this a bit like easy. teachers. Yes, it's, yes, we are professors and we have to teach this art, which is very young. Opera is young, though it's very old in, its, in a certain sense. Because but the, but we live in a modern period. interpretation is yeah. Well, yes, it's a very boring thing. So if we don't give it a bit of reality and a bit of sincerity and beauty, I don't know how it lasts. It has to it, have always it the quality of freshness. Have. Well, it has to. And, and the, the public has to be taught certain expressions, certain ways. How can a pub the public know beforehand what we have uh, taken years of uh, devotion and study and scientific work? We perform an opera, and they have to understand in one evening it's, it isn't possible. So by and by, they come back again, and uh, they might dislike you the first time, but they take to you more the second time. In other way, words, we teach them yes. what they should appreciate later on. In other words, you open up whole yes. new vistas in the familiar <coughs> roles in the familiar operas. But in doing that, naturally, sometimes you find people that uh, don't like you, or they... Uh, 
Or other colleagues who say, oh, well, we were doing fine before she came along, for heaven's sakes. Why now must we work doubly hard? They were, you know, there's, I've, I must say that I've caused a little bit of change in our, I hope, a better change in our I think uh, so. It's art. Just, there's and no you have to, because if you portray a young woman, like he's older, you said before. Yeah. He's older, you know the story. Yes. She's a very young woman, a very yes. beautiful woman. Yes. 17 years old. So is uh, Tristan. Now, a, a, a fiery temperament, a f madly in love, terribly hurt in her pride. Yes. Now, you have to portray that. Can you but always the, do it with bel canto? I must say that the bel canto is a way of singing. It's a schooling. The basis of singing, whether it's Wagner, Mozart, Verdi, or Puccini, you must know how to sing. In other words, Mr. Downs, if you write a book, you must know how to read and write. <laughs> and a little more than that. Yes. Well, bel canto means how to learn to read and write and become a great writer. In other words, you have to learn to read and write, then learn how to compose phrases and this and that. It's a whole science. Same with singing. Bel canto means the great schooling. Yes. The exact schooling that uh, violinists, pianists, all the instrumentists go through. And you exactly don't have a the same we do. And we must do. Yes. No matter how dramatically you sing, the bel canto must exist. It's a schooling. Mm -hmm. It is not beautiful singing. It is the way you sing. The approach, the mm -hmm. attack of the note. Yes. Must always be attacked purely with no slurs, with low slides. With mm -hmm. If the composer wanted a glissando, legato, at the... I mean, we cannot even start in that discussion because it is a whole science. Of course Each it is. note has a reason to exist, a way to be uh, pronounced and given but should never be touched but on the note. A pure attack, for instance, is the basis of a bel canto. Yes. The legato, the phrase, must be legato. By legato, I don't mean sliding. Yeah. And there is a distinction between legato, portato, il portamento. There are thousands of uh, expressions. But, of course, it's hard work, and it is a great schooling of years and years of dominating the voice to do what you, what an instrument, a violinist would do, you have to do the voice. You Absolutely. Say Whether you sing Wagner or anything under the sun. This is the schooling. I suppose there are singers who stop uh, schooling themselves, but well, uh, you yeah. say many years, I gather that you and then continue always yeah, to school yourself. Yes, yes, because you have to. You have to polish up, in other words. Yasha Heifetz would never even dream of stopping to, uh, practice or to to improve, to yes. find, to discover yes. things every minute of the day. Also because um, we must remember on stage we uh, develop terrible uh, habits, bad habits of holding yeah. notes long or of uh, well. pronouncing badly. Of, uh, in a word, uh, you hold the last syllable longer, which is very bad. Uh, it's against the rules of uh, music, of singing, and there are very many mistakes that you... Uh, uh, slide you, into you slide into on stage so every now and then you must have somebody downstairs or you must have the maestro that calls you into rehearsal and says well now let us recapitulate you do this you do that you do that take it off it's not uh, good we mm -hmm. have developed these bad habits now you clean it up it's like a it's a 24 hour job believe me i, I do <laughs> and that's why you're always always studying also because you find all of a sudden a phrase that could have been sung this way. Now, it's not completely different. I can bring you an example. I have my very first Lucia's I did, and the very last one I did. I, I have the Mexico performances, which was my debut in Lucia. It was quite oh. different from my last recording. That's interesting. Very Is sure, it? the first uh, Mexico performance. Absolutely sure, beautiful top notes and all that, but it was not yet... The role, of course, it was lovely. I remind you that Lucia was the same soprano that used that used to sing Norma, yes. and Pirata, I, and yeah, Sonambula. So yes. you see, it is not a light role. No, of it is not. a dramatic coloratura. In fact, Lucia hardest. is a very low role, and light sopranos have to uh, uh, put the last, uh, third act high because mm -hmm. it's terribly uh, centrale, as they say. Yes, it's a dramatic soprano role. It's, it's a weighty role, but you found yes. that 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 your interpretation did change then in, in deepening emotionally? Did you change it musically? Well, I polished it rather. I musically, uh, I gave away to certain things, uh, for instance, waiting before a certain phrase to rest up uh, before a high note. I would just take my time and, uh, well, you don't do these later on. 
You don't permit yourself too many liberties if you have a good uh, self-conscious. You know, 